All right, guys, we just made it to Fishers, Indiana for the Midwest Monster in the old hotel room. Show you guys around. You guys can see behind the scenes of uh, what it takes when you go to multi-day shows and being set up. Pretty cool out here. We got, uh, I'm trying to remember, I saw Qdoba, McDonald's, way over yonder behind that Target is where the actual event is so really really close like five minutes away at that light you guys can see packed brought me a cooler that has drinks in hotel has ice for free gonna go through get some stuff marked up it came in the mail cards bags all the fun stuff might even do a food review i'm thinking about trying mr beast burger there's none around me that's really close and they have it out here so maybe we'll make it a little bit into a food vlog too. But like I said, up until the show, we'll do a little bit behind the scenes. You guys get to see us setting up tomorrow. All that craziness at 7 in the morning, what everybody puts through and all that. And then we'll do a part two of the actual show and then pickups and all that. It may end up being three parts depending on how much I actually do for footage. All right, everybody. See you when the Beast Burger arrives. All right, guys, Mr. Beast Burger has come. Comes in a nice little bag, sealed. And let's take a look here. For you guys, might like a little food review. I don't know why we're doing this. It just shows that I'm really bored. Oh, it's sealed. Looks pretty good overall. Nice thick burger smashed. And we got some crinkle fries too and a drink in there. Just because I haven't put ice in my core yet. So just regular crinkle fries. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm gonna give it a shot, see how it tastes and everything like that. Um, actually, I'm gonna try a fry right now. Nice, warm, crisp. Not bad, not bad. So if you guys ever out, might want to try the Beast Burger. It don't look too bad. I mean, fries were really warm. I mean, it took him 10 minutes to get here after he picked it up. So really impressed so far. All right, all right, I know. Food review, food review. Over for now. All right, set up. 710, they're already packing in. Just got to the tables. Got Kobe and Aiden to be here. Get a little more footage here as people start coming in. Brilliant. You ain't gonna believe this, but there was a safe dropped off here. A bunch of moolah, got a lot of that money. <laughs> Two hours behind the madness. Are the three? Till main or for VIP? Uh, 11 VIP. Day two set up, eight o'clock in the morning. We went to trade night last night. It was too crowded in a small room to do any video in. But you can see most people have the, uh, I call it the old, old body bag where you could chain it up and all that stuff. But welcome to 8 a.m. on a Saturday. VIPs come in at nine. Main floor opens at 10 to six. And I'll be honest, I'm tired. And I'm ready to go home and go to bed. <laughs> Rough couple nights. You guys can see back here. Ert. You got Cards HQ. Good old Jeff Wilson's here. Not really. It's his cronies. You got a lot of buying stations everywhere. But Palm C was way up front there. Behind this little building. Along with David Adams. Hip parade. But okay, I'm gonna cut here. We'll get try to get some footage during the show today.
What's going on, everybody? Before I go into the JJ All Star show, I do gotta turn one thing off real quick or mute somebody in my background. So give me one second, and now we're back. All right. So JJ All Star show. I didn't get a whole lot of footage. I do apologize. I didn't think I would be as busy as I was. It was crazy with the amount of traffic and stuff that came through between buying, selling, sold a lot, bought a lot. Very, very happy overall. Um, if you ever get to set up at a big card show, it's really well worth it. This was only two days. I don't think I could have done three. I probably would have went nutty. I'm not going to lie. Two days is really, really good for a big show, a Friday and Saturday. Um, big shout out because at first when he wanted to run the uh, Midwest Monster, I was like, ooh, I don't know how well it's going to do. So I went to the first one, two, three shows. On the third show, I sat with somebody behind a table just watched what walked up. And you guys are going to see what all walked up to my table, too, that I picked up. It was just better to be set up and let people walk up to me with cards to sell than going to dealers and trying to negotiate off of ridiculous prices at 60% of them had. But big shout because he really put a lot into these these uh, big shows that come around once a year. His staff, phenomenal. Zion cases, thank you for the hookup on the display cases. Appreciate it as always. Um, yeah, it was really good. I had Kobe and Aiden with me um, at a table next to me. So I got to, I really didn't get to walk around. No lie. I could have. If I had people there would watch my back. I dropped the box off to Com C real quick, came back the one time, and I did one deal, which I'll show you the three or four cards I picked up in the very beginning. Um, I will tell you, I was there at 7 o'clock in the morning to get my credentials. I think uh, Kobe and Aiden showed up about, well, Kobe showed up about 15 minutes later, but he went out to do a mass deal with a repacker. But I had all my stuff out. I got hit. It was crazy. I lost like probably a full display worth of stuff. And then I had to rebuy, re put stuff out that I had in my case. Then I was like, crap, I'm going to have to buy just to fill it up. First day buying was kind of horrible. I'll explain to you with some of the stuff that came through in the first day. <coughs> um, my voice is really cracky, um, throat's dry. So just bear with me. Bear with me on this one. It's going to be a little long. Um, the second day, phenomenal with stuff that came through. Trade night, um, they really tried with the trade night. I will say it was in a small, confined place. I only did one deal, all trade night, one deal. A lot of stuff just way out of reach. When I'm looking at Troy Aikman selling it at eighty to hundred dollars, you want one fifty, and you'll come down to one thirty. Just ain't me. Sorry, you gotta give it the times. I have to as well. This was actually brought up to me. A guy told me, or a kid told me a dollar for it all. This will hook up with my uh, 50 cent box. I think I can make a dollar out of it. None of it's numbered. It's just all the retail color. And it's decent names into it. I mean, can't really beat it. Halliburton, Porzingis is hot right now. Lively rookie. I don't know who that is. Don't know. Scoot Henderson, rookie blue. But I'm sure I'll get 50 cents on it. most of these in here and get my money back. I'm going to put these off to the side because I will end up knocking them over because I'm a klutz. Alright, I don't have this in any particular order. I'll try to keep it short and brief and sweet like day one, day two. And if it, there was only one, well, one dealer and a trade with a dealer. That was sitting across from me. Let me see here. I did buy off of, I think it's, oh, is it all my, I forget what his name is on YouTube, I'm so sorry. Um, all about sports cards. So some of this stuff's from him. Terrell Owens. Hey, Wildcat, you watching? I got lots of football. Had to throw it in there, I haven't done it in a while. 14 out of 75, game worn Terrell Owens, he is on a Cowboys uniform. Um, Barry Bonds, Bat Piece, Relic. Ovechkin, I got, I bought Ovechkin, guys. I know I'm a good Crosby guy, but I bought Ovechkin. <laughs> this one here is Hot Materials, numbered out of 100. These don't do much. I think this was the more expensive one at like $20 or maybe 30 
This one, I believe, was like $8. I guess because nobody liked my green. And it's not serial numbered. Ooh, that's other stuff I got to grade. That was not bought to show. My bad. I was picking stuff up and not paying attention. Uh, that was all day two stuff. More. Okay, so day two. This was a big deal that I did. I know it's Beckett Raw Review, but it's a 9 5. I'm probably going to send it off to PSA because what's underneath this? So, Ronnie Lott Auto out of classics from 2008. And it's graded, or graded, still numbered out of 5. Valued it at $80. I think you can see he had $150 on it, but we worked on it from the $80 down. Uh, Becky Lynch Auto. Tony Siragusa. Who remembers this guy, man? This stuff looks in phenomenal shape. Even if it tends like 70, 80 bucks, I'm happy. Roman Wilson, Bowman, um, first. Bowman U Auto should be pretty good. I don't know who's all going to be Fanatics exclusives anymore. Matheson, the running back for the Vikings. It's his rookie oh, cracked ice, uh, 23 Auto. And I picked up a Wemby Silver. It's so centered, I was going to stay away from it. What I paid for this, if I pay for grading in a 9, I'll make like $50 to $100, depending on what they do between now and then. If this 10s, man, it made my show. If all these 10, they would make my show. All right, I'm going to put these up here for right now, because i got to remember those are grading. That was all day two stuff right there. All righty, let's go. We're just going to go left to right. This came to my table today. It does have a big line indent onto it here, but it's out of 35. Exquisite got real cheap. Jerry Rice. Really cool piece there. I'm probably going to end up... I don't think he watches my videos. It's going to somebody, though. Um, I'm probably just going to mail it to him, just say here. Matt Ryan. Uh, these do like 60, I think, only. And this is out of the very first year, 2012 NT. Craziness. Game worn patch. Miss that stuff, right? This was day two as well. Day two as well. This was, uh, I don't remember who all I got stuff from because it's all mixed. Out of 1100, Suggs, uh, rookie. Another auto of Suggs from Finest Rookie Card. I think they were like 30 bucks, 20 bucks, something like that. This is probably one of the cheapest ones I bought. Clyde Edwards Hilaire, but it's numbered out of five. I think we said it was like a $20 card, something like that. This was actually day one Hilaire. This was part of the very first dealer, first group that I bought from us telling you about. Peyton Manning, Aaron Rodgers, Top Supreme, Dual Auto out of 25. You, oh, sorry guys, I didn't realize it was all fogged up. You don't find these. It's crazy when you see this stuff. I love it, the older stuff. Another day two, Marquise Brown, now a chief. Pat Mahomes in Hollywood, going to get it on. Rookie auto, pen pals. A little Russell Wilson score auto. I think they were like 60, 40, something like that. That's day two. Another day two, another Marquise Brown. Uh, contenders optic rookie, just in case he pumps something up. Another day two pickup, Tom Brady. Game used jersey piece. They do around 60 ish. He had it marked to 50. I actually gave him the 60 uh, value on it. Kind of shocking, huh? Uh, out of 10, this was the first day. This was part of the other deal with the. What did I just show you guys? I'm losing my mind. Day one from the dealer. Very first pickup. Uh, diamond. Tops Diamond out of 10. These were truly SSP Ronnie Lott Auto. Flawless. I know Joe Montana signs a lot, but if he didn't, just match what Flawless would sell for out of 15 auto. One of the cooler baseball pieces. 2000, I think it was 6. I'm not going to look. 101. Ugh, jersey action onto a disgusting looking. You can see part of the patch chunk right there. 101 Pooh Halls. Ooh, man, it's getting stacked up, ain't it? These were day two. That this was off his buddy the Pooh Hall, so it was next to him. So those one, two, yeah, three, and then the other one was four. Day two pickup. Terry Bradshaw flawless diamond. I'm sorry, it's not coming through. Uh, out of ten, there we go. I have to hold in the light because it's like double sealed right now. 
Day two pickup. All four of these Steelers were in a group lock, so I could just tell they're together. Out of ten, Troy Palomalu auto. Out of five from Classics, Terry Bradshaw auto. Flawless out of 25, Palomalu patch. We got next. Oh, this was my trade night two card pickup. They're actually in order. Out of 50, Mike Trout, real to real auto. They were like 340. Guy was real nice. I gave him an Acuna auto, really good price. He gave me that at a good price along with this. Bo Bichette tops Chrome Auto. I may grade these. I haven't decided. I haven't taken these out yet to really like say, hey, I'm gonna grade them or not. I think I make that decision probably later this week once my soccer comes in. These only do like it was like 90 for a PSA nine, so we think it like 70, 75 onto it raw. I have no idea why I bought it. It was just cheap. Um, Trace Jackson Davis, purple. Ice numbered out of 99. Same with Jabari Smith. Out of 10. Flux Auto. I think that's his rookie year too. Don't quote me. These are all day ones by the way. I'm sorry. Leaf out of uh, 10? No, 5. 5. We couldn't find. We found like out of 10s and 20s. And stuff like that because he wanted to get rid of what's last of it. And he's one of the guys that occasionally, like, probably like three, four times a year come down to Louisville. And I tried to do good deals with him. He gave me a hookup on this. But uh, Jared Jones, pirate guy. This was another one that was in the deal. I think I sold all the rest. No, I had a lot. Next one's coming up. 11 out of 15, Lenny Dawson. We can only find, I think, the one out of 20 on to it, and he just went off that price with it, and then discounted tremendously. I don't know this guy, but he threw it into out of 4.99. Hence, I know, crazy, huh? We're not even done yet. Look at the long video. Sorry, guys, I gonna get the card collector two type scenario here. I'm really worn down. And I got a full week to me, so I'm gonna try to get this video together on Sunday. <coughs> And post out either Monday or Tuesday to you guys. This is the old PSA label. Sorry, guys. I had to show the guy. He was an older gentleman. He bought all this stuff like 15 years ago. And I said, hey, a lot of people are going to probably think this is fake because of different reasons on it. And I showed him. Gave his uh, son, who was probably about 10 years, I don't know, five, I'm going to say five years older than me. And picked this up. Mantle Blast, PSA 7. They only do like 100, guys. Don't get too crazy. I bought Saka. Saka. Holland. Holland. I repeat, Holland. <laughs> Sorry, it's his rookie tops chrome. Um, BGS 9.5. Should be his third year Holland. Sapphire. PSA 10. Oops, sorry. I forgot the camera's lower, guys. Try not to knock over the big stack next to me. Hockey time a little bit. Uh, 35, Backstrom. Gentleman came up to me with Ovechkins. He is a Capitals guy. He moved out to Ohio afterwards. I was looking to sell some stuff, so we worked it out at a good, fair price. Word got around us paying. If you had nice hockey, I was a buyer, and I was very, very fair. I, I don't know if the he heard about it, but there was a lot of other people were coming up to me. Um, Backstrom, sick, chunky patch. Otto. Looky, looky, Ovechkin. These do, I think it was 2230 as an 8. Ovechkin rookie. He's going to break Gretzky's. This is really cheap. It's like 20 bucks, I think. In the game, Ovechkin rookie auto or top prospect auto, however you want to say it. The next three we're going to trade. Nunez, PSA 10, UFC. She was bad until she retired. Good fighter, good fighter. Not like bad ad too, but she she get down dirty. Tony Gonzalez, PSA 10, VIP signings. A Mbappe out of 25. I don't remember the name of this set. Sorry, I did it again. I'm used to the camera being up higher. And excuse the dumb cat. She's just dumb, meowing. PSA 10. Two bigger cards I picked up. First off the bat, 
Connor McDavid out of 25. First year inked insignias, I do believe. Go Oilers, win the cup. And probably the bigger card. Ooh, I know it's not going to show up. It's like in a case in a case type deal here. This was part trade, part cash with the Jerry Rice. Um, Wayne Gretzky, Mark Messi out of 15. It will not grade because this is a real hard set because of the uh, edging. Imagine NT. Really cool piece, though. Team Canada, Gretzky. Oh, and I'll show you guys the back. But these slab bags hold like one touches in. They don't move around too much. Pretty cool, though. That is everything that I bought. All lot of new inventory. Um, my whole goal was to move stuff that I've been just having for a while. Or I got tired of seeing <laughs> and stuff like that. To get fresh stuff for when I go to the local shows out here. And I think I accomplished it. I think I did. Um, like I said... Very, very good show from both for me from a selling point to a buyer's point. I think most of my deals were all around. I had a couple, I would say 800 to 1200. So, majority were like three to six. Then you had to, you know, the little hundreds here. Um, I was trying to remember because I had a couple PayPal's and a uh, Zelle that I had to do out there, but very, very good overall. We'll see how the grading goes. Um, dang, where did I put that other pack at now? I'm going... Oh, it's underneath all those. <laughs> Too much stuff out here coming back from a big show. And I wanted to try to get this knocked out before I try to even start moving stuff. Like I said, really busy week for me. Um, it's actually probably going to be no cards really I'm going to do until uh, probably Friday afternoon. Taking a little break, doing some other stuff, and then back into the grind onto it all. Wow, did I just sound like a YouTube influencer by saying back in the grind? I know there's going to be comments now on that. I know it. <laughs> All right, guys. Again, thank you to Jeff with the J&J All-Star Midwest Monster Show. Him and his staff. Zion cases for the uh, rental cases up there. They were really quick bringing them out to me. I asked one question like, hey, do you know, I need to pick them up and bring them to you? So who we unload? You're number one. And I was literally like... Two tables away from them. Well, two dealers, I should say, away from them. So it was really quick. Um, again, I don't know if uh, Kobe and Aiden watch these. Thanks for coming along. I appreciate it. It was really good to have somebody else there to talk to that I knew personally. I can get up, walk away, drop stuff off for Com C. I wish I could have walked around more. I just really... After what I've seen, it was just a lot of high price stuff, and I'd rather just sit at the table and let stuff walk to me. Other than two guys I did deals with, I did venture out like a row. <laughs> but other than that, guys, that is it from the J&J All-Star Show. Again, apologize, there's not a whole lot of footage. I did take some pictures and displays. You can probably guess on the prices, stuff on to it. But very, very good overall. And hey, I ate a Mr. Beast Burger twice. First one came from one location. A very good burger. I think it was a Dairy Queen because it said I could order Dairy Queen with it. Don't know. I don't do a lot of Uber Eats. The second day I came back, I'm like, man, I'm so hungry. I'm just going to get another Mr. Beast burger tonight before trade night. And they came and it was just, oh, god awful. Okay, that's the end of my stories. I promise. Other than that, guys, thank you for watching the videos. Be back probably over the weekend with uh, doing some more videos. Um, I should have some, play some big long mail day thing. And then back into the weekly vlog life. That is definitely YouTuber influencer talk. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm out. Catch y'all later.